folks and welcome to my lecture on golden rules to find region of convergence or rock. As we learned in the last lecture, Laplace transform and rock go hand in hand. One without another is not complete. We also learned how to find rock to guarantee convergence of Laplace transform integral. In this video, I will teach you five golden rules that you can use to find region of convergence in a matter of seconds. Before we start, I just want to clarify the concept behind the poles. Poles are the points that make the denominator of Laplace transform equal to zero. For example, if this is the Laplace transform, the pole is where s minus 1 is equal to zero, so we have a pole at 1. Or another example, the pole here is at minus 2. One more example, here we have a multiplication of two terms in the denominator. If one of the terms is zero, the bottom goes to zero and therefore we have a pole. So, the first pole is located where this term is equal to 0, i.e. minus 3, and the second pole is at 2. The concept of poles plays a key role in control theory as these are the points that define the boundaries for stability. Okay, let's go back to the golden rules that helps us find the rock super quick. Rule number 1. Rock is always bounded by poles or extends to infinity. Example. Here we have two poles, one at 1 and the other one at minus 1. Let's plot them on the Cartesian coordinate system. Here is 1 and here is minus 1. To find the rock, first draw a vertical line on each pole. Now, based on the rule number 1, rock is bounded by poles or extends to infinity. Here is one valid example that rock is bounded by poles. Here's another example that rock is bounded by pole from one side and extends to infinity from the other side. Here's one more valid rock. So remember, rock is bounded by poles or extends to infinity. For instance, this is not a valid rock as it includes a pole. This intuitively makes perfect sense because at a pole, the denominator of Laplace transform is zero and therefore Laplace transform goes to infinity. This means there is no convergence and the system is unstable. Rule number 2. If xt is right-sided, which means the signal starts from an arbitrary time t0 and goes to infinity, rock is right-sided, which means the right of the rightmost pole. Consider the previous example again. To find the rock, first we need to draw the vertical lines on the poles. Now, if we know our signal in the time domain is right-sided, the rock must be right-sided. Here's the rightmost pole, so the rock is on its right. Rule number 3. If xt is left-sided, which means the signal starts from minus infinity at, and ends at an arbitrary time t0, rock is left-sided, which means the left of the leftmost pole. Consider the previous example again. If we know the signal in the time domain is left-sided, the rock must be left-sided. Here is the leftmost pole, so the rock is on its left. Rule number 4. If xt is two-sided, which means the signal starts from minus infinity and ends at plus infinity, the rock is bounded by poles. In the previous example, if we know the signal in the time domain is two-sided, the rock must be bounded by poles, which is this area. This intuitively makes sense because a two-sided signal can be divided into two pieces at any arbitrary point, let's say t0. So we get this signal plus this one. The first part is left-sided and the second part is right-sided. If we consider the example again, here we have one pole. The first signal is left-sided, so the corresponding rock must be left-sided. Here we have another pole. The second signal is right-sided, and the, therefore the rock must be right-sided. The ultimate rock is the common area which is located between these poles. So remember, for a two-sided signal, rock must be bounded by poles. And here is the last rule. If xt has a finite duration, which means the signal starts and ends at two arbitrary time, rock is everywhere as there is no pole to mess with convergence. Let's practice the rules over a few examples. First example, excess is given and we want to find all possible rocks. The first thing that we need to do is to find the poles. 
There are three poles at minus 1, 1, and 2. Let's plot them. The next step is to draw vertical lines on each pole. These lines define the boundary because rock cannot include poles as we learned in the first rule. Based on that rule, rock must be bounded by poles or extends to infinity. So there are four possible rocks here. The first one is here. This rock is left-sided, which implies the signal in the time domain is left-sided. Here's another rock. This rock is right-sided, which implies the signal in the time domain is right-sided. Here's the next rock. As this is bounded by poles, the signal in the time domain must be two-sided. Finally, this one is the last rock. As this is bounded by poles again, the corresponding signal in the time domain must be two-sided. Please note, this signal is different from this one as the rock is different. So to recap, this rock is for a left-sided signal, this one is for right-sided, this one is for two-sided, and this one is for two-sided as well. Next example. Excess is given and we want to find all possible rocks. Again, the first step is to find poles. There is one real pole at minus 2 and two complex poles at 1 minus j and 1 plus j. Let's plot them. Here is minus 2 and here are the complex points. Then we should draw vertical lines on the poles to define the boundaries. Rock must be bounded by poles or extend to infinity. Here is the first possible rock. As the rock is left-sided, the signal in the time domain must be left-sided. Here is the next rock. As the rock is right-sided, the signal must be right-sided. Finally, this is the last rock. As it's bounded by poles, the signal must be two-sided in the time domain. Done. Okay, that's all for this lecture. In the next video, I will cover Laplace transform tables. The combination of golden rules and tables enable you to find Laplace transform and inverse Laplace transform like a piece of cake. You have my words for it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video.